welcome back everyone to a mini meditating dragon yoga video. Today is a 30 minute flow to crazy eight. We're going to warm up your hips, warm up your body, and then go through a step by step to get you to crazy eight. So we're going to start in child's pose, taking your knees nice and wide. Like I said, we're gonna warm up the hips first. Resting down. And start to build that ujjayi breath. Getting it nice and deep. Nice and long, that's what she said. From this child's pose, you're going to narrow the knees and sit on your heels. Bring your hands to the waist and open up the chest very gently, just lifting your chin, maybe squeezing the elbows together. And then we're gonna take a few seated cat cows. So exhale, curling the back and inhale, opening up that chest. Continuing this on your own breath, just warming up the spine. And then making your way to a tabletop position where we'll do normal cat cows. Doing any variations you would like to here, whatever's gonna warm up your wrists, your back, your spine. Sending your right leg up, left arm out, working on that core, warming up the core. Option here to twist and grab onto the foot, kicking into the hand opening up that chest, stretching out the front of the thigh and the shoulder. Coming back to center, holding here, and then bringing the elbow and the knee in. Out. In. Out. In, out, and then releasing down. Maybe rolling out that right wrist. I like to wag my tail afterwards. Sending your left leg back, and then the left arm. So we're on just the right leg and right arm here. Working on that balance. So reaching back for the foot, it's okay if you tumble a little bit. Crazy eight requires a lot of balance, so we're getting you into that mindset, warming up those muscles. Back to center. Bringing the elbow and the knee together, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and releasing down. Awesome. Good job, guys. Rolling out that right wrist again. I'm gonna give him a break now. So send that right arm out, left leg back. 
option to reach behind you, kicking into the hand. Coming back to center, keeping everything lifted, bringing the elbow and the knee in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in, out, and lower down, releasing here, shaking out that left wrist this time. Placing the weight in that left hand again. Lifting up the right leg and the right arm. Working on this balance. Maybe reaching back for the foot. Kicking into the hand. I fell down a little bit, that's okay. back to center and then squeezing the knee and the elbow in. In, out, in, out, in, out, and then coming down. Good job guys. Sitting on your heels, rolling out both wrists here. From here, coming high on the knees, sending your right leg out. Inhale, both arms up overhead, bringing the right arm down, left arm up and overhead. Nice side stretch here. Keeping the leg out, you're going to come into a child's pose. Now, the more you walk your hands towards the right foot, the more stretch you're going to feel in that inner thigh. That's just an option if you'd like. Back up to center, this time sending the left leg out, making sure you're high on the knees. Inhale, both arms up overhead, this time taking the left arm down, sending the right arm up and overhead. Nice side stretch here. Inhale back to center, keeping that left leg out, making your way into a child's pose.
Inhaling back up, tucking the knee in, sitting on your heels. Inhale both arms up overhead. Exhale, interlacing the fingers behind you, making a fist, pulling them down, opening up the chest. You're going to bring your fists over to the right hip, send your gaze over to the right, and close the elbows over to the left. Feeling a stretch in the arms, maybe into the neck and the shoulders. Back to center, and then over to the left hip, gaze over to the left, Squeezing your elbows to the right. Releasing the hands, inhale both arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing your right arm across your body, hooking it with the left. Then switching sides. From here, you're going to make your way to your first downward dog of the day. Hips up and back. Send your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, drop the heel. Making great big circles with that knee, getting into the hip socket and then straightening the leg making circles and then sending that right foot behind the left getting into the hamstring then send that right leg up to the sky, and then send it forward up in between the hands, coming into our good old fashioned lizard pose. So opening up the hip, coming on the outside blade of the foot, you can bring your hands down or your forearms or your chest, depending on how open you're feeling, listening to your body. Sitting back on that left foot, straightening out the right, getting into the hamstring. Both hands stepping back, just coming into a downward dog here. Send your left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, drop the heel, making those circles with the knee on this side, getting into the hip socket. Straighten that leg, making big old circles with this side.
and then sending that left leg behind the right. Inhale that left leg up to the sky and then up in between the hands, making your way into a lizard pose. Sitting back on that right leg, straightening out the left. Planting both hands, stepping back into a downward dog, moving in this downward dog, however you'd like to. And then sitting on the heels once again. And then making your way into a simple cross-legged position. We're gonna take a few twists, just very gentle. So placing your right hand in front of you, left hand behind you, twisting. Twist to the other side. And now we're really gonna get into this crazy eight. So if you'd like to watch first, that's fine. First, we're gonna go into the first level. You're gonna bring your whole leg into your elbows. So your foot is in one elbow, the knee is in one elbow. If you need to bring it into your hands, that's fine. And you want to work on this. So rocking it like a baby, getting into the hip. And this is, if, if this is as far as you go, that's fine. You want to do this properly so you don't hurt yourself. Then you're going to try to bring the knee over the shoulder or onto the bicep and tricep. And then from here, you're going to try to cross both of your ankles. So cross your ankles. You're going to plant both hands and just try to lift your bum up. Just try to lift that bum up. And of course my cat decided to sit right where my bum is. <laughs> you can't quite see, but that's all right. So just try to lift your bum up just a little bit. I love you cat, but do you mind? Once you can lift your bum up, you're gonna try to send both of your legs over to the side. And then send your weight forward, and now you're balancing. Ooh, and I fell out of that one. Ooh. It's a tough one, guys. It takes a lot of different core muscles that you don't, th you never thought you had. So we're gonna roll out the wrists. I'm gonna try again on this side. So I'm using my right side. In this in this part so my right ankle is on top of the left I'm lifting my bum sending everything over to the right and I'm sitting back down Whew. shaking out the wrists Now we're gonna try it on the other side. 
So this time, taking your left foot into your elbow and the left foot in the hip and the left knee into the other elbow, just cradling here. Again, if you need to take them in the hands instead, that's okay. Warming up that hip. And then bringing the knee on top of the shoulder or the bicep and tricep, either one works. Then you're gonna bring your right foot on top of the left. Well, that's how I do it. You can do right on top of left, left on top of right, whatever works for you. And you're gonna lift your bum, just trying to really engage that core and lift your bum off of the ground. If this is easy for you or you're able to struggle through it enough, then you're going to send your legs over to the left. So whichever arm is in between your legs, that's the side you want to send. That's the direction you want to send your feet. Whew. We'll try again one more time on this side. So maybe Rolling out the wrists. Getting yourself prepared. Bringing the left leg on top of the bicep or tricep. Crossing the knees. Inhale, lift the bum up. And then send everything over to the left. I was struggling here. My bum was right against the couch, so it wasn't allowing me to do this fully, but that's okay. Releasing whenever you're ready. I hope you got it. I'm sure you got it. If you didn't get it, that's okay. You always have next time. It takes a lot of work, but it's all right. Really shaking out those wrists. Maybe pressing on the tops of the hands and then the palms. From here, I'm taking a few cat cows, but I'm on my fists this time to give my wrists a break. Shaking my tail. And then lowering into a nice wide child's pose. From here, making your way onto your back, bringing the knees up and then rolling them in either direction, giving your lower back a bit of a massage, slowing your breath down. Bring your arms out to a T, allowing the knees to fall over to the right and send your gaze to the left. Switching sides, legs to the left, gaze to the right. If you're lucky, you have a cat coming to say hi. And in the next 10 breaths or so, making your way into a Shavasana, maybe doing some forward folds, a happy baby, whatever you'd like. Maybe grabbing a pillow. If your lower back is still feeling stiff, maybe consider putting a pillow underneath the knees or planting the feet knees to the ceiling and allowing the knees to fall in together. Relaxing your body, 
relaxing your mind, slowing the breath. Bringing your attention back to the room. Slowly bringing awareness back to your body. Becoming aware of that breath. How relaxed your body is. Bringing movements back to the body. If you'd rather stay here and continue moving to wake yourself up, go ahead and do that. Either way, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.